A Bliss Women's Hospital is one of the first hospitals in the area to offer a new device that is improving the treatment of breast cancer, and one surgeon in town is helping them use it. Here with more on what is called Biozorb. Talk about what it is and how it's benefiting breast cancer patients is Dr. Linda Ann Smith. Good morning, Dr. Smith. Hi, it's good, good morning. to see you. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk about this idea. It is called Biozorb, and you have a really great way of explaining uh, how you use it and what it does. So this is a device that I place after I've removed the tumor and I sew it right at the site where the tumor was removed. This acts as a beacon for the radiation doctors to know exactly where to give the treatment so they can highly dose the area where the cancer has been removed so it doesn't come back without giving a lot of high dose radiation to normal tissue. All right, so, uh, okay, so let's go through the process here. Woman has a mammogram, feels a lump, she realizes, oh my God, I have breast cancer. Goes in, when, when you do the surgery, this is where this biosorb, as you mentioned, uh, really comes into play. It would you say, how big is it? This is about the size of a thimble. Okay. And what it does is that it fills up the area from which I've taken the tumor. Mm -hmm. It allows me to rearrange the breast tissue so it looks like they haven't had surgery. Okay. And then it also gives the radiation doctor just a laser-like target for the treatment after the surgery. No kidding. It's fantastic. Okay, and, and, and Lovelace is one of the first hospitals, it is the first hospital in the region to go ahead and start using this technology. We've used it two years. We've had okay. no complications and we've reported on that. And it was really, I was one of four doctors in the, in the world who was allowed to trial it. Okay, wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Okay, so what have you seen with the results? Because obviously you've been doing uh, breast surgery for, for many years before this Biosorb came out. 30 years. What have you seen um, kind of before and after? How has it improved the woman's recovery? It has improved the recovery because it lets us know exactly from where the cancer was uh, removed. We know that that scar tissue in that area can be tracked so we don't biopsy mm -hmm. it again. And it gives a better cosmetic outcome because this little biosor creates a trellis and the breast tissue can grow in so we don't see these big caverns where the lump was removed like we did in the previous years. Wow. Even in older patients where their tissue is poor, we can still get uh -huh. a really, really nice cosmetic outcome. So it, it sounds to me like there is no downside to this whatsoever. We've not seen one. We've had no infections, none have been removed, and these patients often go to other parts of the state for their radiation. So if mm -hmm. a patient goes to Roswell or Alamogordo for their treatment, that radiation oncologist knows exactly where to give the treatment. No kidding, so they don't have to, because uh, you talk about, um, like sometimes they don't, they don't do some of the surgery down there, they don't have to constantly come back here no, for the radiation and make those long drives. No. Uh, this little device is a little coil that uh -huh. dissolves over a year's time, but it leaves very precise clips to mark the tumor site. Okay. So this patient could go anywhere in the country, and the radiation doctor would know exactly where I've been. Okay, so with this kind of success, do you see this expanding to not just the area, but to hospitals and clinics all around the country? Oh, absolutely. I think it will be the standard of care. Okay, okay. now you mentioned this. You were involved in some of the research with this biosorb. But what did you learn through that research process about, say, breast cancer surgery, just breast cancer in general, and the recovery? In the learning, we tried to do what's called oncoplastic surgery, where we take out the tumor and recreate the breast so it doesn't look like surgery has been done. Mm -hmm. So we learned that we were able to use this device with no downside and a lot of benefits. Wow. So we've reported on a couple hundred patients in the world, which have all done very, very well. All right, and you're one of four doctors in the world, the world. right here in New Mexico. <laughs> We're doing this. Dr. Linda Ann Smith, that's pretty incredible. It's We're pretty lucky good. to have you here. Great. All right, thank you so much for talking about this. You want to find out more about Biosorb, more about Dr. Smith and Loveless, you can head to our website at krqe.com. Sounds just like a win-win situation here. It's a win-win. All right, thank you for coming on and sharing with us. Appreciate it very much. It is 728 right now. Stick around. We'll be right back on KRQE this morning. That's pretty good.